Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Aro Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will talk about uh, how to train neural network to work like uh, any specific uh, logical gate. And in that case, we will write a program so that our neural network uh, acts as a logical AND gate. Okay, so uh, as we know in our earlier videos, we have learned how to create or how to train neural network to uh, to approximate any polynomial function and uh, and how the neural network can be used to fit the data in any polynomial. So in this case, we will try to fit a neural network and to make it work like a AND gate. So, like always, first we need to create the target, uh, the input data set for which we want to train. So, if we have a neural network, so let's have a, a little discussion. So, if we have a neural network and there is an input, so total combination for which we need to tr uh, train the neural network, that will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1 1 so we will be have these are the training sets set 1 2 3 and 4 and this will go for uh, uh, neuron 1 and this will go for neuron 2 and in the transposome so first we'll get uh, a so it will become 0 0 1 and 1 and the second row becomes 0 1 and then 0 and 1 and then y become uh, that output target data set so this was the input or uh, input set input and this is the target output so in our nn uh, so the nn which we are planning to make uh, it will have four inputs not for two inputs and it will have single output that means two input are there and one output are there, is there and it will be a single layer neuron so target data this is target set the target set will be 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 and 1 1 1 so this will be our target set so we store our target set in y so 0 and then 1 now we will create a, a neural network so a neural network can be created simply defining like net then new then its maximum and minimum values of the each neuron like there are two neurons so what is the maximum and minimum value appearing on this particular neuron and what is the maximum minimum value, uh, value appearing on the second neuron so in that case it is 0 1 and again maximum first is minimum value and the maximum value and then comma uh, number of layers are 2 so a neuron will be uh, a network is created so if we type net we can get all the uh, we can get all the information related to uh, network so if we want to uh, there are a number of inputs one number of layer one number of outputs one so let's view our net so if we view so there are two inputs single layer and output is single output now next thing comes is to train uh, first we set the training parameter like number of epochs we want to make so net dot train parameter dot epochs so we set them equals to 20 and then now train our network so train net comma input data set and the target values so it will train a neural network and train neural network will be get into net ok let's prior to it let's try to uh, see the weight matrix uh, of the network so it is the input weight matrix so let's say net dot iw 
that is one cross tab loop and within one cross tab loop we can see and these are the input weight matrix are zero zero so now if we train our neural network let's press enter so our neural network has been trained with five iterations and this network has been trained now we can test as usual we can test our neural network or oh, so let's say net if we pass any value say we pass one comma zero okay one and zero so it should give zero so if we pass network one and second row was one it will give one so obviously it is acting as a and gate we pass 0 and 0 again and if we pass we have tested all the cases yep. and for 1 comma 1 uh, let's say let's test again net 1 and 1 for 1 1 its output should be 1 that's it we can uh, uh, create it uh, we have tested it now we can also uh, test like uh, it's uh, what is the weight matrix of it so let's say net iw so it's one cross two so we see it so its matrix weight matrix is uh, two and one similarly we can also get the bias matrix say net dot b so bias is minus three so our neural network experience is working properly so and we can also view our net all this thing. so this was the simplest example of uh, towards the application of neural network or how can we train our neural network towards um, to perform any specific operation and let's see there is another function plot pc so uh, plot pv x comma y so it generally plots all the values uh, of the network so 0 1 that training set 1 and this plus sign shows the uh, different uh, that was a different pattern 1 1 so 0 0 0 0 0 0 and it is for different class we can say and let's say we have plot pc and then net comma dot iw we can have uh, in this we can uh, demonstrate a uh, network as uh, bypassing the classes so uh, so this is our uh, that means the classification boundary so if any value lies within this range that will be termed as 0 and any value lying within this range that will be termed as 1 simple okay so that's it for this video so in this video i hope you learn how to train a neural network for another say binary classification this was the case so in future we'll come up with uh, more such videos in which neural network will be used uh, in order to classify uh, further different classes so that's it for this video thank you